you want to see it if Mike Tyson wins? Mike can close the distance in a way that he doesn't expect. And Mike also has layers upon layers of attacks that are in his mind. He's forgotten more about boxing so than Jake Paul has ever remembered. First of all, no one else can do this but me. The greatest boxing match in the history of boxing, and it's because I'm a part of it. Shot, Mike! Excellent! Nice left hook! Up, up! We're done. The job is over. We're done. Four, three, two, one, and time! Oh! Humans have always done this to each other and for all of human history the right. strong groups of men with weapons invade people that aren't prepared and they take all their stuff and they conquer them I and mean, it's always happened it's it's the the most common thing is war it's constantly happening from the beginning of time as early as we know tribes were battling other tribes oh. <laughs> Good. I want all those four, all rounds. Six for 12 reps. 233 today. Contact for 230. 12 is all we need. I'm over there. 225, 228. Lean, mean. Big chest. One. There we go. Two. Two. Three. Four. Good work. Nine. Eight. Four more. Nine. Nine. Ten. Ten. Two more, Mike. Eleven. Eleven. And 12. Uh, First time we've done that. Man, he's a legend, you know? This is the guy. This is one of the two most famous boxers to ever live, him and Muhammad Ali. This is a dream come true for me. I am inspired by Mike, his story, you know, what he's persevered through. Since it began 250 years ago, it's never seen anything like this and probably never will. I can't even fathom those. I can't even imagine it. He's not going to win. I've always been in the gym training. I'm a boxing professional fighter. He dreams a lot. This is not going to come true, young man. I think he thinks this is going to be a very easy night. It's not going to be an easy night. You should go see Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson. It might be the last boxing match ever. I don't know if I want to see it. His head is up when he's punching. Same thing. Yeah. One, two. There you go. Good. If everything was easy and it was just a cupcake walk to the top, it's not beautiful that way. I'm ready. I'm going to upset the world. There's a fundamental difference between me and Jake. He's a manufactured killer. Television and papers made him a killer. He's manufactured. I'm a natural born killer. That changed. That's the difference. Or I really hated someone. Now it's just completely different. Now I'm just on a path to world champion. Obviously, it would be the biggest moment in all of boxing history on Friday night when I put this man to sleep. So that is that is pretty dope. He dreams a lot. <laughs> a lot of dreams. I knew it all come dreams. true. You know, I've made the money. I've knocked people out. I've earned the respect. I've been on the covers of magazines. I've created records and history and one knockout of the year. So now it's more... Mike's a cold-blooded assassin. He's a machine. There you go. And Jake has not come up against that. And to be able to fight him and to share the ring with such a legend is a special moment for me, and it's historic. And the fact that we did it with Netflix, it's the biggest fight of the century, and that's what I love to do, make right. history, have fun, and go to war. It's a dark place in there, that ring. A lot of things can happen. Mike is the baddest man on the planet. Raphael is the baddest trainer on the planet. You can see, you can feel. When I put Jake in deeper waters, where let's make you feel uncomfortable, they begin to kneel after the fight. What did you initially think when you heard that Mike Tyson was going to be getting the, in the ring with Jake? I was thinking that Jake Paul was going to be in trouble because, you know, Mike Tyson knows how to throw great body punches, great headshots. And, um, you know, we can ju we just have to see if he's going to do them in the ring. I'm hoping that he'll do that. It's um, a task, you know, it's, it's hard to box at, uh, when you're that old, moving around the ring, throwing punches, getting punches thrown at you. But I, I think he can handle it. Mike just knocked somebody else to go out again, you know. This is going to be big. It's just, um, it's not like it's just some 27-year-old, it's Jake Paul. 
for me and to prove to young kids what is possible when you really set your mind to something. And that's more so what I'm focused on. So it's it's definitely not as exciting and there's not as much glitz and glamour around it anymore. And it's, I would say more this so is the hardest life. camp. Just sparring 300 pound guys back to back and doing the jogs, you know, weighing 220 pounds, all the miles, all the work at the track is a lot more difficult than running around weighing 205 pounds. So this is definitely the hardest I've pushed myself mentally. I don't look at my life as a legacy. Legacy to me means ego. Who the fuck cares about my legacy? I'm gonna be dead soon one day, but he's not gonna win. People don't realize how much is sacrificed in the camp and Jake sacrificed a lot to get ready for the last fight on top of releasing his the new brand W. And so he needed a break. And so we took a month off, got right back in there, and now we're getting ready for Mike. And uh, we're not as heavy as we were before, which is a plus for us. I didn't want us to go back up, but you can guarantee he's gonna be ready to fight Mike. Yeah, M Mike's hard to read. He is a man of few words. A lot's going on on the inside, but he doesn't always say what, what he's thinking. I've always been in the gym training. I'm a boxing professional fighters. I'm just, um, activity's great. I had 15 fights in one year when I was younger. And I think activity's great, but I'm, I'm prepared. I'm just ready to go. His head is up when he's punching. Bang, bang. Yeah, one, two. There you go. Good. If everything was easy and it was just a cupcake walk to the top, it's not beautiful that way. I'm ready. I'm gonna upset the world. There's a fundamental difference between me and Jake. He's a manufactured killer. Television and papers made him a killer. He's manufactured. I'm a natural born killer. That changed, that's the difference. Or I really hated someone. Now, it's just completely different. Now I'm just on a path to world champion, you know, I've made the money, I've knocked people out, I've earned the respect, I've been on the covers of magazines, I've created records and history and one knockout of the year. So now it's more... Mike's a cold-blooded assassin. He's a machine. There you go. And Jake has not come up against that. It's a dark place in there, that ring. A lot of things can happen. Mike is the baddest man on the planet, Raphael, is the baddest trainer on the planet. You can see, you can feel. When I put Jake in deeper waters, where let's make you feel uncomfortable at the beginning to the end of the fight. What did you initially think when you heard that Mike Tyson was going to be getting the, in the ring with Jake? I was thinking that Jake Paul was going to be in trouble because, you know, Mike Tyson knows how to throw great body punches, great headshots. And, um, you know, we can ju we'll just have to see if he's going to do them in the ring. I'm hoping that he'll do that. It's um, a task, you know, it's, it's hard to box at, uh, when you're that old, moving around the ring, throwing punches, getting punches thrown at you. But I, I think he can handle it. For me, and to prove to young kids what is possible when you really set your mind to something, and that's more so what I'm focused on, so it's it's definitely not as exciting and there's not as much glitz and glamour around it anymore and it's I would say more this so is the hardest life. camp just sparring 300 pound guys back to back and doing the jogs you know weighing 220 pounds all the miles all the work at the track is a lot more difficult than running around weighing 205 pounds so this is definitely the hardest I've pushed myself mentally. Shot, Mike! Excellent! Nice left hook! Up, up! We're done. The job is over. We're done. Four, three, two, one, and time! Oh! Oh, great boy. Good. I want all those four, all rounds. Six form for 12 reps. 233 today, contact for 230. 12 is all we need. I'm over there, 225, 228. Lean, mean. Big chest. One, there we go. Two, three, four. Good work. Eight, four more. 
nine, ten, two more, Mike. Eleven and twelve. twelve. Uh, Eleven. Easy, First time easy. we've done that. People don't realize how much is sacrificed in the camp, and Jake sacrificed a lot to get ready for the last fight. On top of releasing his the new brand W, and so he needed a break, and so we took a month off. Got right back in there, and now we're getting ready for Mike. And uh, we're not as heavy as we were before, which is a plus for us. I didn't want us to go back up, but you can guarantee he's gonna be ready to fight. Mike. Yeah, M Mike's hard to read. He is a man of few words. A lot's going on on the inside, but he doesn't always say what what he's thinking, and it's hard to tell. But I know that come fight night, it's gonna be the old Mike Tyson, the warrior Mike Tyson, getting back to doing what he does best, which is annihilate people. When you've done that for so long, it's gonna be second nature for him when the bell rings in the Dallas Stadium. Mike, I love you, man. Uh, and boxing thanks you for all you've brought to the sport. You're an icon, you're a legend. I look up to you, I'm inspired by you, and I know you're gonna bring an amazing fight and put it all on the line, but no matter what you do, you can't beat me. It's a passing of the torch, and with the utmost respect, I'm gonna fuck you up. Deal or- I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play toss and wanna hate this, I'll always show up. I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love. The fake is if you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement. Then you're 58. In his most recent videos, Tyson displays remarkable speed, power, and technique as he destroys pads with explosiveness and hits sparring partners with strong left hooks. Sonnen believes it's done to draw crowds, so he finds it hard to believe the whole thing. When they first did this, I thought, oh, it, this is over. This is over, because they lied. They, they fraudulently put out training footage of Mike from a fight at least four years ago where he stood opposite Roy Jones Jr. And I remember thinking, they're, they're in big trouble. They're, they're going to get caught here. And I don't know who they were putting that footage out for. Was that for us as, as fans? Because you'd have to be colossally stupid to think that you could follow the fans, fool the fans by bringing out training footage, particularly that, that had so many red herrings in it. But secondly, I also wonder, was that for the commission? Like for a commission to license you in many states, you will not pull this stunt on Andy Foster. That I will tell you right now. The legendary boxer Mike Tyson places a high priority on strengthening his legs. He uses heavy squats, explosive lunges, and resistance training to develop and preserve his foundational strength, concentrating on core stability and explosive power. Last one, Mike. Nice and strong. 30 times, let's go. One, one. Two. two, here we go. Three, Three. Four. four, nice, five, five. yes sir. Six, Six. Seven. seven, strong, eight, eight. eight. strong, nine. Oh, you got this. We'll go. Two, Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's go. Eight, eight, eight nine, nine, one more. Ten. Nice work, Mike. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, halfway. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. Good work. 15, 15 more. more. Good work. I mean, we can, but I mean, do people really want to fucking learn about that? Do they want to? Oh, Jake, did you see Mike Tyson no, uh, no, dropping no, no, his no. sparring I was, partner? I was talking about, yeah, I fucking I saw was it. Talking about no the, shit, I saw I was, it. And I don't give a fuck. Sure, he's looking good. Sure, he's looking all of that. Oh, he's dropping people. He's fast. So the f am I. People want the truth. I don't think people want you to kill Mike Tyson. Okay, okay. All right, so ask me again. Um, did I see Mike Tyson sparring? I didn't ever ask you that. Just ask me it again. Just ask me it. <laughs> Just fucking hey, that. did you see Mike Tyson sparring? Oh, yeah, dude. I freaking totally saw it. Dude, oh my God. He's looking like a beast. I'm freaking scared and paranoid. Whoa. I asked the doctor, am I going to die? And she didn't say no. She said we have options, though. That's when I got nervous. Exercise-wise, I would take it slow at the beginning. I can't wait to get out of this motherfucker. Man, God, I want to fight and start training. I don't want to die in a hospital bedroom. I want to die in the ring. 
Remember, finish, I go against you. A week and a half ago, I was training, and I was doing great, and then all of a sudden I started feeling tired. And I was explaining to my trainer, I don't know what's wrong with me. Coming here from Miami on the plane, I went to the bathroom, and, and I threw up blood. The next thing I know, I'm on the floor. I was defecating tar. in life right now, and good for him. I was minding my business. I was just enjoying life, smoking a lot of weed, doing a lot of mushrooms, just enjoying life, doing whatever I want. Building corporations and stuff. Yeah, I saw this little kid. <laughs> Even though he's a little pipsqueak, he ignited the fire in me. I'm sure he's scared, you know? If he's not scared, he's gonna be in for a big surprise. Didn't, I know he's 58, but after he I talked right? to him, yeah. He had me feeling good about the situation. I said, it's like when Larry Holmes fought Ali or Trevor Burbick fought Ali. He said, but the difference between us, they didn't prepare like I prepared, brother. Okay, okay. I said, Mike, you talking okay. that talk. He said, okay. they didn't prepare. They didn't deserve it like I deserve it. Okay. He's very excited and very confident in the fact that Mike was going to go in there and get the job done. And even, you know, hearing Mike, we didn't get to see him in fighter meetings today, but hearing Mike and talking to Rafael Cordero, you just sense this confidence. You sense this, like, we have a secret no one else knows type of vibe from them. And that's a head turner for me. You know, not because they're confident. Of course, they should be if they're going to take this fight. But because they were so confident. And it wasn't cockiness. It was just the work they put in. Again, I'm not going to speak on what exactly happened. If Mike still does have something left in the tank. If Mike still does have an ability to be any version of that old Mike, this could be one of the most insane feats we've seen in boxing. I'm not even joking about that. A 58-year-old Mike Tyson, yes, it's still Mike Tyson, but not in the ring and not competitive in any sort of pro fight for as long as he's been out for 20 plus years. To come back in and beat Jake Paul would be absolutely insane. And based off the little snippets and tidbits, of what we've seen so far, maybe I'm crazy, but I'm starting to believe he may actually be able to. I think he's doing it. It's a possibility, yeah. It's kind of fun. I guess um, only thing that's pretty tricky is getting in shape. At, yeah, you start yeah. getting older, the thing. No, yes, and, no just, it's just like when I was 20, it's hard. Me training, I go all. It was like one, nice tight. Two, two three, three good. four, five, six, six seven, eight, <sighs> nine, three, four. Five. It was good for today. Yeah. I totally. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yes. Sure. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Sure. Yeah. With me, it's all right. Let's do this. You did great. With that. You sure? Yes. Cross. I got a lot in me. Let's get started. Mike's just different. I've worked with some very exceptional athletes throughout my life, and they're all remarkable in their own way, but Mike's just a, a whole different animal. Only 12, that's all we want. To the middle. One, two, Three. A little slow on the way down. Four. There we go. Nine. One yep. more. And slow. Ten. It's something that's ingrained in him. He's, he's been like that for his whole life. And, you know, that's why you see something special every time you see him fight, every time you see him do an interview. You know, he's just a, just a special person and he's going to put on a special show. <laughs> you hear what I said, brother? What was that? I have some friends, you know, they're pretty wealthy. They said, Mike, don't fight. I give you money. Crazy. What do you see in this game? A lot, <clears throat> a lot of overhead, lots, a lot of th throwing, a lot of punches. All of a sudden, he he moves, you know, younger when he's in that boxing gear, when he's in that boxing ring. I love that. Mike's coach telling him he's a cold-blooded assassin. Giving him that, that again, it's not like Mike is, I don't know, maybe he is or he isn't confident in who he was versus who he used to be. But just continuing to remind him of what he is. Reminding him of what he used to be and how he can still be a version of that. Again, we talk about that mental game. That's sometimes all you need. For a guy that, that can flip the switch like that, that's all you need. He's raising his techniques from the train. Better and better every single day. His defense, his power, his speed, his endurance. His, uh, today he put everything together, the conditioning, the, 
everything that he needs to put a great show on November 15th. The only guarantee that we have, might go there to kill or die. He gonna hunt this kid like a, like crazy, and uh, for sure, we just need one touch. If Mike touch his hands, it's over. It's all over. Hey man, the proof is gonna be November 15th. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, halfway, 6, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 15 more, good work, Mike.